Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Kubota Monster channel. My name is Pete and behind me is my Kubota Monster. So uh, first of all, I wanna say thank you guys uh, for reaching out to me. It's been a while since I have made a video. Um, just got burnt out, had a lot of work to do around the, uh, the house and uh, making videos uh, adds a lot of time onto uh, the projects. And uh, I don't do this for money. I do this because uh, it's fun and uh, I enjoy it. It's a little hobby for me. I don't expect to uh, retire uh, from my nine to five and do this full time because I'd probably run out of things to uh, make videos about. So, but with that said, uh, today's video is going to be my 60 inch deck and it's time to change the blades out. Uh, they are looking rough. Um, probably about a good 25, 30 hours over um, when I was supposed to probably do it. Um, I would say, I would suggest probably between 20 and 30 hours you should change uh, your blades to keep them sharp and keep your grass looking uh, healthy and cut well. If you start to see your grass as you go by it, you see like a little strip that looks like you missed it even though you went over it. It's probably a good uh, sign that your blades need to be uh, sharpened or swapped out. I like to have two um, two sets of blades so when one uh, isn't working I could put on the new set, take this set to go get sharpened at my local dealer and uh, not miss a beat. So I was actually going to do uh, this video last fall um, but when I went to change out the blades I Got the blades that my wonderful salesman, Justin uh, at uh, Messix, got me. And I opened them up and I was like, huh, they're a bit short. And I was like, huh, what happened? So what I thought think happened is that he sent me blades for my original 54 inch drive over deck. And I could have probably told him, hey, Justin, you know, you sent me the wrong blades after we swapped out the deck, but he's done so much for me. I was just like, ah, eh, screw it. I'll just go pick up my own blades. So if anybody is in need of 54 inch uh, blades out there, um, send me a message and uh, I'll, send, I'll send them to you. Okay, free of charge. So I went to my local dealer and picked up the proper size blades, as we can see. Let's see over here, boom. And uh, it is time to uh, swap them out. So before we swap them out, let me show you the condition of my blades. I do have a very challenging lot. And uh, you could see, um, especially on one of them, got a nice little chunk taken out. So let's take a look. So as you can see right here, Looks like I definitely hit a stone, a rock, or something. And we got some nice little, little edges that are taken out there. These are all things that your local shop can grind out, unless you got the grinder at home and can do it yourself. Uh, I take mine to get done. It's only like 20 bucks. There's a nice, another little chunk taken out right there. And a little bit, eh, this side's not so bad. Well, that's the back side, that's why Pete. This side's not so bad. And then over here, this one's in pretty nasty shape too. Looks like it's got little monster teeth on it. And then up over here as well. You can see the monster teeth. So, let's get to it. Change them out and uh, be cutting grass nice and easy again. Okay, so I don't have the right size socket for this. I'm assuming it's a metric socket, but I am using a, uh, a one and one fourths uh, or one and a quarter um, 
socket and I loosened this one up just to make sure that it worked and I can make this video. So, but um, find the right size and get yourself a piece of wood because you will need it to uh, brace. And I don't know if you just saw that piece of sweat coming off of me because uh, it is hot out here. Um, in case you guys are wondering, if you haven't seen one of my other videos, this is the deck dolly with the universal kit on it. Great to do things like this. I, I know a lot of you guys build your own deck dollies out there and more power to you, but if uh, you don't feel like it or you're not uh, handy enough to build your own deck dolly, you can always purchase it. I'll leave the link down below. So let's get this started. Like I said, I already cracked it open. Okay, yes, I know. Guys, this doesn't work anymore. Don't give me shit for using uh, this wrench, okay? <laughs> okay, we got the screw. The screw with the nut head. Da, 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 da. If you also have, looks like you can also use um, the hex bit inside. I, I might have a hex bit, a hex bit inside, so we can see if that works. Thick washer, thin washer, and another thin washer, okay? Uh, so just to make sure we put it on the right way. Uh, all right, that's the way it goes back on. All right, thin washer. Thin washer, thick washer, and this boy goes back in. Okay, let's tighten this bad boy up. It's probably gonna swing on me, if I have to guess. Hold that wood in there. Da -da -da -da. Scared to find it and find a spot where it works for you. Probably should have used a smaller two by four. But using what what I have. That is talk to GT. Good and tight. Let's move on to the next one. So I went inside my shop and this is the biggest one I have. Not big enough. So I'm gonna have to do it the other way. <laughs> All right. not really that hard to get off once you get it loose. As long as you have that piece of wood, should go fairly easy for you. Okay, let's make sure I put it up the right way again. the two thin ones, thick one, and back to the screw. So when I took the deck off, um, you know, lots of grass under there. I gave it a good scraping. I did um, uh, 
power wash it and clean it up and it's not in bad shape um i probably will this fall um when i take it off for good probably spray the end the bottom for rust uh but you know it's a mower deck so it's not gonna look perfect all the time Okay. Bam. GT. Next. Da -da. You are seeing it as it happens here, guys. Okay, there we go. like this right always forget All right so we want it to be like that Get our wood back in there. And tighten it down. Get in there. Yeah. Turn it on me. Get up. Not like that. Okay. Because it's loose and I don't have the right size socket, uh, that's why it's slipping on me. One more, for good luck. Okay. Okay, that's it. I did notice something uh, once I had them all on and was spinning them, make sure that they were spinning freely. Uh, this one here was actually hitting right here. And uh, it's probably because I hit a rock or hit something and sort of bent this up. So I took my little vice grips and, and we are good to go. So there you go, guys. My blades are swapped out. Fairly easy, as you can see, even though I didn't have the right socket. So uh, make sure you guys have the right socket. Uh, but uh, even without that, it was still fairly easy. Um, and that's it. She is ready to go for uh, some nice clean cutting next time I cut the grass. I'm going to slap her back onto the Kubota Monster and be done. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button. Please subscribe. Tell a friend. And, uh, you know, I think I'll be making some more videos. <laughs> see you guys next time. Bye.
The Kaboom Monster. Monster.